Hey, fandom, how's it going? Today I'm actually going to be reviewing a manga, so we're changing up the pace a little bit, and I am going to be reviewing Henshin. Henshin by Ken Nimura. Uh, Henshin is a series of 13 short stories that are one and done that you can pick up, and they are written and drawn by Ken Nimura. Now, if you've ever heard of Ken Nimura, Nimura, He's uh, mostly known for this series called I Kill Giants. He was the artist on that. If you've ever seen his art style, it's very manga and anime-esque. for about, if I'm not mistaken, 14, 10 bucks online, and you're getting over 200 pages worth of content on this. It's translated and it's being published by Image Comics. It's originally uh, was published, I believe, in Japan first, if I'm not mistaken on this. And it basically is a series of 13 one-shot stories that tell about the life in Japan. It's kind of like these uh, over-exaggerated versions of what it's like to live in Japan and the culture and things like that. And... They're mostly hit and miss with me. A lot of the stories, they kind of fall flat with me. There were a few that really hit the feels on this. And I, this is actually a multiple award-winning series. Now, the reason it's called a henshin is because it means transformation. Uh, and what you're going to notice is throughout the series is that you'll start off with an initial premise. And then there'll be a twist at the end of the one shot of the story. And that twist will lead to a transformation of the character or, you know, something that you didn't think that you under you thought you understood about the story going into it, but it transforms the overall meaning of it. And I think that was pretty cool about it. Uh, there were a few stories that really hit me in the feels, like I said. There was one involving baseball and these two kids that they grow older and everything. I thought that was really good. Uh, there was one about a watermelon. Yes, a watermelon. And these people that are going on a camping trip. And the twist in that... I'm not going to give it away, but it really hit deep here. I thought that was really good as well. Uh, I thought the weakest one personally was this really weird story at the beginning of this uh, about a cat and how the writer of the story uh, is telling about how his experience with this weird cat. And I thought that was, eh, it was okay. It was mostly comedy. Uh, I thought also some of the other stronger stories in here were actually the more personal stories that deal with the writer because he actually tells stories about himself and his experience of writing and everything like that. There's a few one-shots that involve him in here. And I actually thought the second story involving a cat was stronger than the first story involving a cat. So I thought that was pretty good. Uh, his art style is very loose. It's very scratchy at times. And he does... He, he, the guy's got range. I'll give him that. The guy has a lot of range in his art style. It can shift from very manga s to very Western art. And I really enjoyed that. And he plays fast and loose with it a lot in his style. I think the it wasn't hard to follow and it wasn't hard to, you know, see the panels or anything like that. But when he does go to a more Western style and he transitions from a manga style throughout like the middle of a story, it hits you really hard. You're like, oh man, that was cool. And he did that a lot as well in I Kill Giants, if you ever saw that. His art style is really cool and it's really unique. And I think the guy's got a lot of talent and I really hope to see more. Overall though, I think, you know, 10, 15 bucks, you're getting a lot of manga out of this. Not every story is hit and miss. And if what I've explained to you does sound fascinating, if you're into like Japanese culture and everything like that, and if you do like to learn a little bit more about it, and it, it's kind of some of the stories are a bit over exaggerated and they're funny and they're a little weird. Not everyone is that great though. Uh, I think you'll enjoy this overall. Like I said, uh, also, if you are buying this, so this actually caught me off guard because I thought, you know, Image, it's a Western publisher, you know, they'll keep it, you know, from uh, the traditional left to right. You're actually reading this from right to left, like a manga would. So it's in order to preserve the original process of the art and the original um, page layout. So I thought that was really cool of Image to do that. Uh, I really wish this could have been a hardcover. There are no special features on this, sadly, glued binding, but. Definitely check this out. You're getting a lot for your value. So comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Bye.